today's video I want to talk a little bit about the mineral I've been using for the past few seasons. Uh, it's a recipe I got from Archery Talk. It's going to make us about 150 pounds of mineral for a pretty cheap price. It's something that I've been using with pretty good success in the past. Deer seem to really like it. All these ingredients you should be able to get at your local feed store. First we're going to start out with just regular trace mineral salt. There's no medications in it. I think that's a little bit healthier for the deer since we're trying to keep wild protein. We don't want to put any medications in them. Second thing is dried molasses. It's granulated molasses. And then the last thing, which is what's really going to help out the deer, is this dicalcium phosphate. A deer's antlers are mostly calcium. That's why this is the most important ingredient in the list. It's also a little bit bitter to the deer. That's why we add in the molasses. Helps bring in some sugar. Helps balance out that bitter taste to them. This molasses and the salt, trace mineral salt, they're more attractants than anything. Most guys just use this. If you're just trying to get camera survey going, the trace mineral salt is going to do a great job. Talk, about, talk a little bit about price. Trace mineral cost me about eight bucks. The molasses cost about 15. The dicalcium phosphate costs about 25. So we're looking at about 50 bucks. That'll get you 150 pounds of mineral roughly. We don't mix it one to one. So you're gonna have a little bit of leftover one or the other. But for 50 bucks and 150 pounds of mineral, that's gonna last you about two seasons, depending on how many sites you're running, your acreage and that kind of thing. So right now, we'll start to tear these down. We'll get them mixed up and show you what I do. We're just going to use a coffee can for our measuring scoop. You can use it just about anything. Uh, what we want to do is we want to take one part of the dicalcium phosphate, two parts of the molasses, and two parts of the trace mineral salt. start a new site we want to clear all the vegetation out three or four foot circle and then we want to loosen up that soil a little bit so that the minerals will leach down into the into the dirt we want to start with about 10 pounds of this mix once you refresh the sites three to five pounds will work we want to refresh them about every four to six weeks that'll keep the site good and strong April May June July and August those are our important months that's when they're really going to be hitting these minerals I like to get out and refresh them in February and March. That way we're ahead of the game and they're really going to start hitting them. Those sites are rejuiced and ready to go. Like I said, it's, it's one part dicalcium phosphate, two parts molasses, two parts trace mineral salt. That's going to yield you quite a bit of mineral. Should last you for sure one season, depending on how much acreage you're running, maybe two, three, four seasons. For 50 bucks, and for how the deer tend to use this, at least in my area, it's a, it's a pretty good bargain. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this works out for you. Hope you learned something, and uh, hope you keep following along. Thanks.